Good morning. All right. So today I'm going to show you how to change the oil on your premier pump. Um, my husband, here's a secret. My husband normally does this. So this is literally going to be my first time doing it all on my onesies. So, um, we're going to, we're going to go through this, but, uh, I want to show you, this is, you may have heard in some groups about the Brita filter system. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And, um, we're, I'm not running a load through this morning, maybe this afternoon. So we're going to have plenty of time to filter our oil and all that. So, um, this is just a basic filter pitcher. Uh, this is one that uh, we came across free. So why not? We're, we're, I took the filter part out, part out of it. And then what you're going to do is get a roll of toilet paper. I'm not going to lie. It makes me a little sad to, uh, destroy a good roll. I, I, I did search around my house. I'm like, we've got to have like a cheapy roll somewhere in the camping stuff or something. No, we don't. So, um, cause I was like, I don't want to use one of the really, really good rolls, but that's okay. All right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just going to work out this cardboard in the middle. I got part of it. So it's a little tricky to get it loose and pry it out. Because essentially what we're going to be doing is squishing this toilet paper down inside where the filter was for the Brita. And there we go. Okay. In the trash. So now I've got that. We'll I'll show you this side. The cardboard that was in the middle. Now, here's the problem. We still can squish this. This is a good quality toilet paper roll. So I can squish as much as I want. Ain't not gonna fit in that little itty bitty hole. So, I'm gonna have to cut it off. And I have scissors I should have in here. Uh, maybe not. I might have to go get scissors. All right, I got me my kitchen scissors. I love these things. These are amazing. If you don't use kitchen scissors, seriously, get some. These are my Tupperware ones. They're like 50 bucks, but they do everything and they're amazing. So they're worth it. I'm just gonna cut down a strip and then peel it off until I get to the size I need. Now, because I hate waste and I've got tiny heinies in my family, little kid bums, I'm gonna save this and tell them, hey, look, got you some toilet paper sheets <gasps> pre-cut. So you just kind of want to eyeball because you don't, you want the toilet paper to fit in the filter snug. You just don't, uh, you don't want it uh, too loose basically because the point of the toilet paper is to absorb all of the stuff. Oh, we're so close, so close. I think one more little section and this is this will depend on the size of your toilet paper like I said this is the good toilet paper this is like Costco brand stuff or yeah, I think so I think it's Costco brand anyhow it's it's good stuff okay that looks like that's about right so this is just slightly bigger than my than my filter hole but that's okay because I can squeeze it down and we're going to Cinderella stepsister and make it fit. That's what I call it. It's when you, you know, they're trying on the slipper and their foot doesn't fit, but they're going to make it fit. So I'm squeezing it as tight as I can get it. And we're going to wedge it inside. Toilet paper. Twist, twist, twist. Oh, I might have to take off just a touch more. Hardly any more. It's so close. Just a few more sheets. Because it was right there. Okay. Roll it a little bit as tight as you can. And you know, Okay, there we go. Now it's going in. It's going to be a snug fit. Twisting it helps. And, oh, 
gosh. I'm afraid that, like, I, I don't want to push too hard and break the plastic, right? But it's okay. And I'm not going to worry about it. It's not like it has to be flush. The toilet paper. Okay. So now because this gets more narrow as it goes down, my toilet paper roll is probably only about to there. But you can see it's sticking up about half of it. Half of it's sticking up and half of it's down in. That's okay. That's okay. I mean, if, if you want it all the way in, I probably would have to... I'd have to trim it just a touch more because it's in there pretty tight. Um, but I'm not, I'm not super worried. Um, it may kind of slide down in as it gets wet as well um, and as it absorbs. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim it a little bit more so it'll fit all the way in. Yeah, I think I do. I want it to fit all the way in. So we're gonna take just touch more off because it was perfect where it was at but because that it tapers down so much towards the bottom essentially now what's going to happen is it'll be looser at the top okay there we go so that's eh, yeah dang it that's not what i wanted so let me show you the problem there do you see the hole there that not going to filter so I'm going to, I'm going to put this back on because I just cut it off. Actually, I'm just going to put half of it back on and let's see how half of it does. This is the thing, at least with, you know, I've got the steps all right here in my, like what I've cut, cut off that if it doesn't work, it's toilet paper. Just add it back on. I mean, worst case scenario, you get a new roll. But I mean, it, come on, it's toilet paper. You don't want to waste it. There, that's perfect. Let me see. <sighs> perfect, perfect. Okay, I was able to slide it back in. So there you go. If you cut too much off, just add a little bit. So this is the where the fold is, but there's no, you know, there's, you can see the fold there, but there's no hole that you can see through. So it's squished in there. It was a little tight to get in, but it went down in all the way. Perfect. Perfecto. See if I can squish it down in anymore. I think that's as far as it's gonna go. So that's good because as it tapers in, you're squishing it in and that's gonna give it a good filter seal. Okay, there you go. So don't fret if you cut off too much toilet paper. That's all I did was take about half of it add it back to the roll. Easy fix, easy fix, don't stress. All right, now I'm gonna tilt the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing with the pump part. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not 100% confident that I'm gonna do these steps in the right order or the order my husband would do them in. But I've watched him enough times that I think we're okay. I think I can get this, right? So wish me luck. So I use a stool underneath my oil pump just so it doesn't fall as far. You want to have it on the edge. I didn't have it far enough on the edge at first, so got a little bit of oil mess, but that's okay. We got toilet paper right there handy to clean it up. So you just start by turning the very front valve and oil, as you saw, will come right on out. So just let it drain on out and um, collect into your filter there. You will eventually need to loosen the top filter of on the pump itself and then also prop the back of the pump up to help any more old oil drip out the front. Um, I did that but didn't show it here in the video. Okay, so look at that. Yeah, this oil definitely needed to be changed. I've been telling my husband for the last two batches, we probably should change the oil, probably should change the oil. Definitely. Look at how yucky gunky that is. Oh! Now, because this is the first time using the toilet paper, I'm expecting it to take quite a bit longer to filter, just because the toilet paper's gotta absorb all that the first time, right? Um, and some people say they use their toilet paper for, you know, 
quite a few different times of filtering. Some people change it out every time. I mean, it's a roll of toilet paper. It's not gonna be the end of the world to change it out every time, right? Just a little bit of a mess, but uh, we'll play it by ear and see kind of how we feel with this one. This is pretty dirty, so I more than likely will change it out. But look at that, we don't even have anything filtered through yet. It's gonna take a bit, but luckily enough, I don't have any batches planning to go in. Okay, so see how the oil has slowed down. I'm gonna come over here and turn this. Let's see. Open. Okay, come on. Close, open. Oh, sometimes I forgot, my husband told me. So this filter, sometimes you have to turn this to kind of get that seal. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna need two hands for this. All right, now, see how gunky that still looks down here in the bottom? We might flush some oil through, some clean oil through a couple of times and get that all cleaned out. Okay, I just wanted to show you, we ended up uh, just putting new oil in and honestly, we will might just chuck this oil because it was so so dirty but here's how it did I mean you can see there's there's some sediment in the bottom there still but this oh, the lid off nasty look at that nastiness gross so um we have kind of just because we waited so long to change our filter um I mean, but that nastiness to this color, not bad, right? But uh, yeah, we waited so long, we may end up just uh, chucking this and replacing because we had more oil. But that's pretty much it. I mean, at this point, it's been, honestly, it's been quite a few days that um, we let it sit and stuff. So so we, we had extra oil we replaced anyway. But um, that's pretty much the process. So. Not bad, let me show you one more time. Look at all that nastiness. That was in the oil. Gross, and that was pretty thick, dark oil. And there's our toilet paper. Yeah, so um, this works pretty well. This filter I got on Amazon for about 10 bucks. Totally worth it for a filter.